I'm going to try to pronounce your name correctly. Romina? Romina? I'm going with Romina. Romina. Welcome in. Tell everybody who doesn't know where you are, who you're supporting, what's on your mind. I am um, sorry for my accent. I'm a Latina. That's okay. We love, um, we love your accent already. I'm from where, Miami. Where, where are you? Yeah. I'm in, in Marietta, Georgia. Okay. In Georgia. My first time because, voting. Yeah. I'm going to vote for Harris. I'm coming from a country that has been destroyed by the same. Um, and this is so emotional for me. Take your time. The same thing that I see from Trump, I see it in my country almost 30 years ago. It was in Venezuela. I'm from Venezuela. All my family's here. I remember 1992, 1991, where the Cubans in Miami used to tell my family, he's going to destroy your country. The way that he act, the way that he talked to people, the way that he, I remember when he was the president, the way that he talked to the, I think the, the an ABC reporter, the way that he talked to the females, it was like, oh my God, this is a digital boom. I saw that in Chavez and I was 16, maybe 17 years old. And when he became president, I'm like, let's give him a benefit of the doubt. Let's see what he does, because this is the greatest country. This is America. This cannot happen in this country. And the pandemic hit. I don't think that was his fault. I think he, he just did wrong with the whole how to approach the pandemic and whatever. He lost the election and now here we are. I don't like Harris personally, but I think he's the, she is the less of the two evils. I cannot vote in my right conscience. I cannot vote for somebody that divide families, countries, and when he's pressed, I don't want what happened to the border, what's going on in the borders. I want to be close yesterday. But when he has pressed himself about Venezuela and all, they all come here, they're all rapists, gangbanger. I have four nephews, Marine, Army, Air Force. We are not like that. And he cannot get my vote or some of my family the way that he talks. I would love to vote for Republican because I think I'm more conservative. I don't smoke weed. I don't I don't do wild things. My husband's gotta vote for Trump, but I just can't. He's not from Venezuela. Romina, so, let me let me let, let me ask you so thank you for all of that. I just want to get your story uh, and some of the facts of your story. You were born in Venezuela and you yes. came here when you were when you came here when you were how old? Uh, the first time when I was 13, because my mom, my grandmother is Italian. So when she was in Venezuela and she saw what's going on with Chavez, she told my, my dad, you got to take the family out of this country because he's a communist. He's a dictator. He's this. And it was 1919. The first time that he did it was in 1989 when he tried to take the government. Right. And so for and me, kind of, the, the yeah. line was January 6th. Because I be saw that in my yep. country. How, how did you become a citizen? I became a citizen in 20, 2021. Finally, by after taking, 20 years being by, arrested. By, okay. Congratulations. And, 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 and you live in Miami, but, you, but, did you, but you're in Georgia because of the storm? No, because oh, everything went too expensive in Miami. Everything went crazy. I have a good job, but the house in the house in was crazy an apartment to rent it was like two two for maybe twenty seven hundred dollars so right. we wanted we have a little boy and we like let's go to georgia let's go to marietta have a good job and it's more family oriented than living in miami beach yeah so you, you're you're a georgia voter yes and i gotta vote yeah. that same day but, i'm but not going husband, to do early but, vote <laughs> but but your husband's gonna cancel out your vote yeah. All right. I want to ask you one more question. Person. Yeah, I understand. I want to ask you one question, then, and then I'm going to let Sean and Dan ask you a question. Um, when you think about the two candidates on the economy, does that do you do you think one of them's better on the economy, and mm -hmm. it doesn't that's trumped for you by by Trump's January sixth, etc. Or do you think she's better on the economy? Listen, 
whoever comes to the um, to the govern to the presidency, we have to do better by ourselves. I'm making more money now that I was making in 2020 or 2018, 2017. I have more debt because it's my responsibility. That's the fact. I spend, I spend, I spend, and it's my responsibility. I'm making more money now. So, and what I do care is about the government, like the, um, in, in Georgia, my, the people that are close to me. Because the president, we all like, um, they're all this and they're all that. I have to care about who is in Georgia or who is in, in Florida yeah, when absolutely. I was down there. Absolutely. Sean. I, yeah, I, I, first of all, I'm, I'm glad you are out of Venezuela and your country <laughs> here, and I'm glad that you are uh, a citizen and, and did that the right way. Uh, I, I, I respectfully disagree uh, with with your take on President Trump. I'm glad that you at least see the light on policy issues and that hopefully you'll vote Republican on the rest of it. But I, I, I the platform doesn't allow for the time to to make the case why I actually would argue that if you're concerned about the policies of Venezuela and what Chavez did, uh, Kamala Harris poses to me a, a massive threat, both economically, militarily, and every other way uh, to take away the very freedoms that you so cherish now. I, I, I wish we could have more time. Yeah. Maybe in the future we can. Yeah. Okay. Dan, do you want to ask or say anything? Just thank you for coming on and sharing your story. Yeah. How old is your boy? I have a 23-year-old daughter. She don't want to vote. And I have an eight-year-old. Eight-year-old? So, yes, it's a boy. Yeah. Why doesn't the 23-year-old want to vote? Just one of those, I guess. She don't no. care about what anything is, right now. What does is, what is your eight-year-old like to do in his free time? Oh, my God. He's a sport man. Sports, 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 sports. Is he like, let me, he's like uh, let me, Atlanta Let me teams? say something about yes, what Mr. Sean say. Yeah, I'm not voting for the situation of my country. I um, I can't. I live here. My two kids are here. I can do nothing about what's going on in Venezuela. I do understand the President Trump helped more than what Harry and um, Biden have done. But this is what happened back when the whole situation with Maduro was. He said all the options are on the table. One of the options was doing nothing and nothing happened. So I'm not voting for what's happening in Venezuela. I'm voting for what is going to happen for my kids in this country. And for what well, I think. And, and I would respectfully, that's the point, though. I, I, I'm i not trying to make it. But but my point is, you saw the movie. You know what happened. Mm -hmm. to that, right. You go down a path. And that's the problem is that I, I think where the Democrats are taking this country is in that direction. I, that's my view on this. And, and so you of all people have an insight that we as Americans, you know, at some point, hopefully we don't get there. But but you, based on your experience, I think have seen what happens if you go down a very dangerous policy path. And so I I, I actually, you know, I get you're not voting because of it, but I think that for you're- him, very... For him, for him, yeah. I will vote yeah. Republican, but I cannot vote for Trump. For what, what about, he is- Why don't you just- Vote for J.D. Vance then. <laughs> I don't know. No. Yeah. All right. We're, we're so glad that you came on. I, I know I'm speaking for Sean and Dan, but also lots of people who are watching. So glad you came on and shared that. We hope you'll come back regularly. Thank you. Tell us what you're, tell us what you're seeing in Georgia. And, and we're super glad that, that you're part of two-way. So thank you. Thank you.